Keys, keys, and more keys. Well, you know what they say, if the key fits, drive it. So let's check them out. Actually, our first car doesn't need a traditional car key at all. But even without Keyless Go, this is a machine that's sure to turn a lot of heads. It's the 2006 Mercedes-Benz CLS series. Yes, it has four doors, but Mercedes-Benz considers its striking lines to be too rakish for a sedan, so they've given it a coupe designation. But we call it gorgeous. The eye-catching look with its plunging side character lines and flowing tail is a major design departure for Mercedes. The CLS interior is less radical, however, sticking to time-proven Mercedes principles of luxury and ergonomics. It's more flowing, but still clearly from the three-pointed star. The car's high shoulder line gives the rear seat a deep, private feel, very limo-like. But as dazzling as the CLS looks sitting still, Mercedes engineers made sure that it's a true driver's car by building it on the excellent E-Class platform and pumping it up with that line's best engines. And the CLS 500 is the popular 302 horsepower 5 liter V8 shared with the E500 sedan. If that's not enough, buyers can opt for the CLS 55 AMG. Its supercharged 5.5 liter V8 cranks out a monstrous 469 horsepower. All CLS models ride on a multi-link suspension with standard Airmatic dual control air suspension and adaptive damping. The new CLS, while being a pretty big car, can really tear through the twisties. Between the power of the V8 engine and the active suspension, this car is one athletic four-door coupe. This new age Benz hits showrooms in January with a lofty price of about $65,000. The CLS 55 AMG soars higher to nearly 87 grand. Next, we turn the ignition key on Mitsubishi's latest pocket rocket, the 2005 Lancer Evolution MR edition. The MR is an even more potent version of the Lancer Evolution 8, which lit up the fast and furious import scene when it debuted in 2003. But unlike many performance cars, the MR isn't just about horsepower. It uses the same 276 horsepower, two liter turbocharged four as the Evolution 8, but gets a new six speed manual gearbox in place of the Evo 8's five speed. The MR also gets a serious handling edge thanks to special Bilstein shocks and lighter forged BBS wheels, plus aluminum roof and door impact bars to lighten the car and lower its center of gravity. The Evolution Series full-time all-wheel drive system now boasts an active center differential and a helical limited slip differential up front. And talk about sweating the details, the roof boasts vortex generators to reduce drag and increase downforce. And how much will you have to put down for the sharpest Lancer Evolution yet? Well, the MR will run you just under 36 grand or about 5,000 bucks more than the Evo 8. Thinking about the future? Well, so is General Motors. And the latest forward-thinking vehicle from the GM think tank is the Hydrogen 3. It's an almost practical and very drivable demonstrator for the advantages of environmentally friendly hydrogen fuel cell technology. Based on GM Europe's Opel Zafira minivan, the Hydrogen 3's fuel cell technology combines liquid hydrogen with oxygen to generate power for the vehicle's 82 horsepower electric motor. The only exhaust product is water vapor, which makes hydrogen fuel cells much cleaner than either pure electrics that must get their charge from a fuel burning power plant or gasoline electric hybrids. And the Hydrogen 3 has set a new endurance record for fuel cell vehicles by completing a 6,200 mile tour of 14 European cities in 38 days. And it's now part of a joint test program with Federal Express that uses the Hydrogen 3 as a delivery vehicle in the challenging environment of downtown Tokyo, Japan. Walking up to the Gen 3, you wouldn't think it was anything than an average minivan. Uh, get inside though and start it and all you hear is the faint clicking of the hydrogen injectors for the fuel cell. Uh, step on the accelerator, uh, no vibration, just really smooth acceleration and the humming from the electric motor. Uh, it's, a, it's a really cool technical piece. Uh, the future looks pretty good. 
Of course, you won't see the Hydrogen 3 in your local GM showroom anytime soon. Fuel cell technology is still too expensive and fragile for mass production. But GM's Hydrogen 3 does point to the growing potential of a very clean future, and fuel cells could be as big an advance in automotive powertrains as the internal combustion engine that they may one day replace. And we'll have our first impressions from more new car keys next week.